So the, the water, the fire extinguishes the Canada. There's a lot of fires this summer here in the uh, France. This is called Mez. Hello. <laughs> say, say hello. La lutte contre le contre le mauvais feu. Okay. So I'm here. A Portuguese guy he took me hitchhiking. So I'm sleeping in the trailer. Well, what's left of it? I'm doing some sewing, repairing stuff. Yeah, look, this this is what left of it. It's all it's all broken. I leave all the windows open because with the uh, the moisture, you know, it can be dangerous. So, you know, in the air. Pity of the caravan. He's living there. The cabin on a trailer. He's repairing the house. It was built just after the French Revolution. The revolution was in 1789. After the American independence actually. And the French they they set a lot of a lot up in 1776. No Lafayette. It came from the French, uh, the, the American Revolution, or the American independence. Well, not a real independence. It's just in the New World Order, the horizontal rule. It came from the, uh, from the French, from the Freemasons. I suppose you never see a Bergen, like, worn out like this by the sheer use of it, you know. But it's an excellent backpack. I've never had a good one like this. So it used to be thick like this here. Uh -huh. Now it's all thin. And I don't have the material here to put it on. But um, I'm going to put this stuff on it here. German camouflage. Well, I hope it's better than the Miltech. Or call it Multech. That means garbage tech. But this is good. Bergen is good. Yeah, look, I got some French baguettes uh, strapped on my backpack here. That's my backpack. I repaired it here, you know, my Bergen. Look at that, a lot of work. Yeah, so this is a uh, an ordinary French baguette. And this is one what my wife made. But it got hard, you know, I forgot about it. So i, I show you how it sounds here, look at it. This is a Swiss baguette. It's pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's good for self-defense. Um, so my wife made it, so it's sort of biological, you see what I mean? Like probably rye or, you know, something substantial. It's pretty substantial, I might say, you know. Make some suspend substantial damage as well, you know, to your kneecaps. <laughs> so, you want to introduce yourself? That's not, that's uh, not easy to introduce no. myself. By, uh, <laughs> well, he knows my videos. He's I Belgian, said. and uh, his name is Bert, and he invited me here. So as he is, he had some severe to problems. Do some wood cutting. Yeah, when he was 17, they got a cancer in his, you know, his disabled, and all. So I do the cutting here. The Swiss say I'm lazy bastard, but I did I did a lot of work making my videos, so I'm chopping up the tree here. And all all his so-called friends, they just come to, you know, like smoke the smoke the grass. Smoke, yeah, and drink, you know, they they don't help him, so I'm giving him a hand, you know, so he's got his fire. Okay, you say goodbye. Goodbye and watch his videos. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it's running. So here he is, the man, man with his stick. You? You're the man. Oh, thanks, man. You're waking up everybody. <laughs> so we did all the splitting and the sawing with the Husqvarna thing. 
Yeah, so I do the rest. Oh, you got a nice piled up, eh? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. More or less. <laughs> more <laughs> <Inclusive>. or less. <laughs> We're heating up this stuff here. So he's Belgium. Belgium. They're nice people here. I met so many nice people here. Belgium. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. So you see, Swiss, eh? Eh? I'm cutting it all up the entire tree because we South Africans, we are hard workers, you know. But I tell you, listen carefully. If you start pushing me, putting me in prison for fucking nothing, like you did in 1997 and 98, for me it's over. I don't want to work in a dictatorship. I don't want to pay any taxes, you know, to make my own prison and pay taxes for the bars in, of my prison and your cops, your corrupt Swiss, lying, aggressive cops, like the Cooney guy and the other one, Kunz. A bunch of Bernese liars. And I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm definitely not going to work in the dictatorship because I'm a South African, you see? I, and then you didn't give me a working permit for seven years. And I was over and I started to make videos. Yeah, and I did a lot of work, man. I'm not lazy. I worked every day, seven days a week. Sometimes the whole day, the whole night to make all these videos and tell the world about how you are, what you are, what you're doing, Swissy. So you see, I'm not lazy. I'm a worker, you know? I can. You know, I've always, in the family, we've always been surviving, working, and, uh, or delegating, more or less, you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's because of you. And this is the hard labor you wanted to do me. You wanted to have me done. I'm doing it here, you know. It's for a friend and I do it for free. Because he's disabled and I feel lousy about it. Nobody's helping him, you know. You see? Do you get me, Swissy? Eh? Hey? You criminals you are. So he's in Belgium. It's really nice here. Yeah. Really nice. So... So I can't do any videos at the moment, so I'm a lumberjack. So here's some nice posters of the Viet Cong. Uh, here against uh, American imperialism, against American crimes, against humanity, Agent Orange and killing three million innocent people and their children. So Americans wake up, you're being lied to. Watch my videos like Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. The enemy within is very real, they're very important. These are good people here, you can see this, you know, they've been fighting for their lives. And so, these people too, they got rid of the Mongolians, the Mongols with Genghis Khan. And uh, when the Mongols came, they all left the Vietnamese and they left all food on the tables in the villages. And then the, the Mongols and Genghis Khan, they all off met Genghis Khan, they all filled their bellies that the food was poisoned. They're smart people and they deserve uh, to live and to be free. So Americans wake up, the Vietnamese never were the enemy, as well as the Muslims now, they are not the enemy, we're all being lied to. The enemy is the enemy within. And they are the aristocracy. All the American presidents, they have uh, King Edward of England as an ancestor. It's still the aristocracy ruling through the New World Order, um, which is the new system of the kings who were the, who were the old world order. Just watch my videos and you'll see it like my videos like Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. So Americans, wake up, wake up, before it is too late. And it is already too late. You think these lovely girls here are the enemy? Yo, come on, come on. Well, this one here, they're fighting for their lives because of your crimes. But you're being lied to. It's all a lie. It's Kissinger's lie. It's all these, all these, these guys are a lie. And they are Templars and their base is Switzerland. It's the base of the Templars. One million Swiss Americans in the US and they take 
they have your country in hostage. They rule America, Swiss Americans, one million of them. And Switzerland is the base of the Templars. Wakey, 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 wake up. And some more pharaohs, the Chateau de Sevrac. Pharaohs are masters, ruling the world. Pharaoh. Me. Oui, Swissy. Oh, look, they got the red and white United Kingdom of Pharaoh of Upper and Lower Egypt of the White House and the Red House here. Uh, like the Swiss flag. There's my petrol station here. There's the motorway. Where is it? Yeah. Motorway. That's gonna that's what I wanna hit. Get north. That's where I slept last night. What was it? Uh, well, somewhere there. Yeah, that's where I slept. And here's the castle. Middle Age Cemetery. Let's have a look at the cemetery. Look the old tombs. The old tombs are at the back. Yeah, the temple is here with a sort of a rotary ring around it. See? Well, it's, it's a lot more to see, but it's always the same. Red and white pharaohs, and here the Star of the Web with 1.7 million views in two days. That must be Jean Calmon, the woman that was. Uh, she was 116 years old. And that was the house she was living in. Yo. <laughs> oh, that's right. Beautiful country. So I'm gonna sit there in the sun. I wish I had a bottle to drink, eh? Meditate here. You see the triangle, the pharaohs? So oh, we'll see for yourself. There's been two pillars here, right? Yashin and Boaz. Ain't it? A lot of nice places to put my tent. Yeah. Now look the corned one, Apis, the bull, symbol of the pharaonic, the uh, protection of the of the motherland. That's why the Americans have got Apis Advanced Personal Information System. Look it up, I made a film about it. Ah, Le Seigneur de Rouarg. Sitting in here the whole day, you know. The only thing to do is get drunk. Oh, that's what they could do. Get drunk. It says Le Seigneur de Rouargue. De Rouergue. Huh. 
So this castle is not a Templar's castle, but it's a castle of the first world. So. But the Templars were here behind the hill somewhere. I talked with some old people and they said they were here. So they were waiting their chances, you know. And I met a Duke this year, he took me hitchhiking. And he said, I'm not a royalist, I'm a republic. So the republicans, they are the, uh, the Templars. They want a republic and the horizontal rule. And the royalists, they are the other ones the vertical rule. So here's a Roman well. Amazing. In the Roman times. Oh! Any pharaohs down there? I don't know what that is, but it looks like a Templar's cross on it. So apparently this is Jeanne, and it's uh, a house of the 13th century, time of the Templars. I was looking at the sign of this French supermarket here, and they're all like circles. You see that part, this is part of a circle, that one, that one. So this is definitely the Vesica Peitzes of the Freemasons, of the Pharaohs. That means one for all and all for one. And in the middle it forms an oval. It's it's everywhere, everywhere. We are their slaves. You know? Looks like Japanese, but it isn't, you know. So, French supermarket. A lot of deer apparently passing the road. It says big animals. It's a, it's a huge forest, Rambouillet. The hunting grounds of the kings, where they hunted min French ministers, and <laughs> yeah, look, uh, it means the uh, the Saint Brice Church, Brice Denis, Bryce, and it was Merovingian before, and it's a church from the 12th century, the time of the Templars. It, it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a uh, like a bullet. Uh, there's again the bullet with an octagonal tower next to it. This is an octagonal tower. The bullet. Straight up in the sky. It says again, it's a massive forest. See here it says forest. Massive. Ambouye. Oak trees. Look, it's the same, it's part of the same structure, just next to it. With a lot of pyramids here. Yeah, oh, you bloody pharaohs, are you? Get out of our Europe. Get out of here. There's a radar in the middle of the forest. <laughs> it's over some more lights. Shine some light. It's in the middle of the forest. Oh. You punch a 50, cal a 50 cal into it, you know, and that one there. Be, well, anyway, I think it's a good thing, you know, people shouldn't drive that fast for our children. You can't even drive by, ride a bike here. I just walked all the way from Cerné la Ville and the monastery here. There's too many aristocrats, and especially the wannabe aristocrats, they're the worst, probably, you know. You know the symbols for the hiking path is always red and white. You want to tell me why? You want you want me to tell you why? Well, I'm not. Uh, look, why do you think that they put this pillar here? Red and white of the United Kingdom of Pharaoh. And white is the new <coughs> world order. So the second, third, four sons. And there are many more of them. So there's much more white. And on top of it, it's white. But just below is the old world order, the royalty. So if they have like a red sash, you know, on TV, it means they are royalists. Or red sharp, you know, and, and white, they are republicans. And just next to it, there is the um, Freemason checkerboard. It's some sort of a shop here. They put their things in all sort of logos. 
So in Paris, as it is a concrete jungle, you know, you don't find any like meadows. It's all streets, houses, bricks, you know. So in between the tennis court here and some garden here and a hedge with some houses behind, oh, I found that lovely spot here. Even the lawn has been mown. So, hiding, hiding. There's an, another interesting little river here called Argent, which is going to uh, Montfort sur Argent, there where I filmed the Templars' castle, in the middle of the Templars' area here. <coughs> uh, I just had a dip in the pool here. So Brad Pitt is having his, uh, his castle just on the other side of this thing here. Uh, he probably comes here sometimes, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, me. It's quite an interesting landscape behind here. Here are the plains. Uh, there should be a lake here. There's a pyramid, you know, the Templars Cross in it. Oh, here's another gorgeous French lake, it's called Lac de Maison, I think it was. Next to uh, the Verdon, beautiful. Uh, so I'm gonna have a nice dip in the, me. I'm gonna have a nice dip in the pool. Lovely water. Cooling my bottle, some uh, uh, cider, fresh cider. Free, nice lake, sunshine. You don't need really anybody else to do this. You know, you can do it by, by your own, on yourself. You know, just with some cool bottles and freedom, lake. You don't need anybody. Just go ahead, hi. So this is where I'm at here, this place here, Montmeillon. It's not even on the map. So oh, lovely place here. Now the pharaohs of Egypt, four and a half thousand years ago, were having a great civilization. Frenchy was living like this. And like this. And we're still their slaves, you know. That's why we have a, an identity card with our personal slave number on it. They have the cops, you know, the, uh, the knights of the, uh, of the king, they knock on the window. We have to show them our, our slave card with our personal slave number on it. You know, because that's a slave control, just like a farmer controlling a sheep. We belong to them, we are their prisoners, believe me. Oh, it's time to stand up, eh? I slept at so many nice places, but I, you know, I didn't film at all. It would be a bit boring. Um, and it was so hot, you know, it was so tiring. It was a very, very hot summer, and it still is. So I'm going back to the Templars Bridge, uh, where the Templars Castle next to it see the, the relation with that you know. and it's all related to the terrorist attacks there was another one yesterday they mowed down they plowed through a group of soldiers and mowed down six of them well, they've been they are cher they've been cherries here I think they all let them rot you see they all let them rot it's probably it's just a matter of price you know they get it cheaper from Eastern Europe or from Spain, where they have cheap immigrant workers, it's all a matter of, you know, why? It's all about the money. Cherry trees. Oh, there's a big hornet walking around here. Huge hornet. Lucky I didn't sit on it. 
What's it doing? So after the Pharaoh show, I'm going to do the animal show. Oh, look at that. It's like a tank. I just crashed down here. I just did my. Uh, I had some scoff here. Did some cooking. I had some uh, chopped meat. I'm gonna film the uh, the Statue of Liberty here, in a place where Bartholdi, the guy who made it, uh, a Freemason, of course, where he lived, in Colmar. There you go. So here's French. He has been riding his bike all over France for 10 months. He, f he found all the dummies here on the road here. Like, here are the dummies, and here's the crest test dummy. <laughs> Hi, Kylian. I met your father on the road, and so I decided to leave you a message. There is sometimes that I am on the road, and yeah, if you don't know what you want to do, it's a it's a good way to to open yourself to find a way to to live on, on this earth. Uh, yeah, just that. So, so you've been traveling ten ten months now on yeah. the on the bicycle here. Yeah? Yes, there is um, ten months that I'm traveling with my bicycle. It's just here through Spa Spanish, uh, Portugal, Morocco, in France also. And yeah, um, I finished the school there is two or three years because I just fed up about the education of, uh, the, of this country. So I decided to, to show by myself to what is this world and yeah, what is possible to do. As there is, there is a lot, a lot of things to do. So <laughs> traveling is a good school then? The best, I think. The best, okay. <laughs> and now you're 21, eh? Yeah, it's that. And your mother was a Russian ballet dancer who escaped from Russia? Yeah, it's that. It's that. She came in France, uh, meet my father. They make show, magic show, and the clown also, and just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pierrot. Pierrot. Uh, Pierrot, le, le clown. Le clown. <laughs> <laughs> ciao, ciao, Kylian. See yeah, you. thank you. Great. <laughs> These people are waiting for the shop to close and they're doing the uh, garbage cans. A lot of good food, you know. <laughs> yeah. A lot of pushing. And it's the Lidl. Oh, how you see it, Lidl. Oh, he's got a lot of food. Going for another week, maybe. Another guy. <laughs> the after hour shopping. Yeah, look, all these guys, you know, dead in all these wars, even in North Africa, the Algerian War, 44, all of it, you know, Les Gens, Le Champ d'Honneur, the, um, the Honor, the, um, the Fields of Honor, oh, you know, so, now, what is she doing there over these dead blokes with a crown over her head, you know, like a castle. Because the European women, through the Jus Prime Noctis, on the first night of their marriage in the Middle Ages, they were raped by the lords. And many of them, they made a alliance with the aristocracy. Let's kill the man. Because the devil knows, you know, 
that a woman sees a little bird, you know, who wants to make a nest with little branches, little twigs. And the man sees he's supposed to be the, like, the bull, seeing the danger. She doesn't see any danger. It's a woman. So they made an alliance. Some of the women made an alliance, you know. First she had problems with it, you know, like spreading her legs. But then the guy, you know, the prince, it was his prince after all. He wasn't smelling that bad. You know, and she got some wine, you know, to facilitate it, you know, the thing, the rape. She got breakfast in the morning, a bath. So she said, well, it wasn't that bad after all. You know, my man, he's smelling like pig shit all day, you know. My European little bastard. So let's, let's better kill him, you know. We have children with the aristocracy. How was this? All these birds on it, you know, here. What, what is that? A ma'at. All these devilish things here. Another crown in it. She's holding it. You know, she became one of them. And this is why the women, the good women, who didn't want to do this, you know, they all burned out the stakes. While the men were doing crusades and fighting other peoples. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, you know. It's all a lie. Don't do their wars for them. It's bloody Pharaoh. The Pharaonic aristocracy you're doing the wars for. You see the joining on it here? There, the joining. See it everywhere. This is where you died for, mate. You stupid. You too, you stupid. You couldn't even stand up against the ones who are really your enemy. You all stupid cowards you are you know you died for nothing not for your children you died for the witch here there she is the witch come on baby come on come on come on yeah oh, look at her eyes oh what a witch hey eh? oh that's pharaonic look at the look at the face man that's a pharaonic princess yo bye bye princess I'm gonna eat that from you, eh? We are Europeans, Germanic, Celtic. Get rid of you. We're tired of you. Your wars and your lies. We're gonna stand up. In between the vineyards. Everywhere. <laughs> nice. So here's the castle of the Duke here in Uzes, which is U-Z-E-S. Uh, look at uh, the sun hieroglyph, look at uh, at the place of the aristocracy. It's them all right, they are the pharaohs. And here's the Templar's cross, ah oh, yeah. There's probably a lot of interesting things to see here, which I don't see now at the screen. See it later. Ah, 10 o'clock, opening up. It's a very special place here, very aristocratic. I've never seen a place like this in France. Ah, look at that, the Duke has a red and blue flag, blue for the war and red for the, the original pharaohs of Lower Egypt. Bloody pharaohs they are. The Bertasser. So this is the inside you have to pay here, I'm not gonna pay for it. Bloody bloody pharaohs getting richer, you know. Why should I pay? A lot of things to see here. You know, see the images here. It's all pharaonic, folks. There are masters. Hey, look, here's the coat of arms of this town here called Uzes. Uze. With a castle, three times fleur de lis, blue, gold, like on Tutankhamun's like mask. Like the United States, 
the red and white original kingdoms, the United Kingdom of Pharaoh, blue for the wall. This just looks like a weapon, you know. The fleur de lis. Well, it's a weapon of uh, raping our women, actually. Uh, this is a dead aspic or a viper in a region where it's not supposed to be any. I'm next to Uzes, next to the Pont Saint Esprit, Nîmes. There's not supposed to be any, but there are. Look at it. So if I would be like, try to cross the road here, if I would be like crashing here, probably there. You know, and here. And another little viper. Ooh. Shouldn't be here in this region. Well, but anyway, it's hot enough. It's nice, it's grape time here. Yeah. And figs, to just let them rot anyway. You know, the figs are all on the ground here. So there's a fig tree, it's plenty. Here are the vineyards. Thank you. <laughs> So, so the tire just exploded, yeah? <laughs> yes, I don't regret you. You're with me. Oh, no, please. <laughs> so you, so now you think it's a good moment to change the tire? You said, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, South Africa very good in uh, world uh, athleticism. Uh, yeah, well, it's called it's it's called rugby, mate. <laughs> I'm rugby. No, don't play rugby. No. <laughs> so the tire just exploded, and French here said, "Well, this is a good moment to change my tires." <laughs> He's completely it's pissed, man. Well. He's completely drunk. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> no, look. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So the bloke who had a flat tire. He uh, he took me to a party he, yes, last night. It was all dark, you know. Uh, went on to 4.30 in the morning. And in the morning, there was this jaw-dropping scenario around me, which is incredible. Incredible. They fought the Germans here in these mountains here. In this house they had a lot of weapons. Ah, he said. Incredible. Looks a bit like Switzerland though. The style of the houses, you know, like all these chalets. Yeah, you know, this sort of chalet. Oh, I can't see it. I hope you can, I can't see it. Looks very Swiss here. There. All these Swiss houses. Well, it's not very far from Switzerland. Apparently, he said yesterday the house was full of, with weapons in the year 1942. Bloke is still sleeping. So here I'm in the house where Klaus Barbie, the guy, the Swiss, they gave him a, uh, a, a Swiss Red Cross passport to go to Argentina. Um, they sent, they caught here 44 uh, Jewish children who were sent to Auschwitz by Klaus Barbie. And um, François Genou, he found him, he found him a, um, uh, a lawyer when he got um, in Lyon. So this is quite next to the Swiss border, as you can see here. It's a beautiful area. It's Le, Le Rhône. So here's the work of Swissy, you know, Murder Incorporated, Klaus Barbie. Um, yeah, well. Let's do something about it, folks. Let's stop them, eh? Now, look at this here, a three-dimensional hexagram. You know, a lot of pharaohs. So, 
So I'm camping out here with some French friends and their, and their families here. But I, you know, I wanted to be alone, like being like here in the, in the forest. The cows are standing here next to the river. Gorgeous river here. It's called La Lou in uh, the Jura. The Jura. So that's uh, L O U E. And uh, we've got two soldiers here. One of them was in the uh, army intelligence, and both of them are women. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, well. <clears throat> Beautiful nature here. Uh oh, it's coming my way again. Smelt the steak. Smelt my hamburgers. No. No. Bloody pharaohs. So, this is the castle of uh, Clairon next to the river I was here in the Jura. Let's see what I can find for you. Bloody pharaohs, eh? Yeah, look. Templar's Cross. They were here. Damas, which is in Syria. Templars were here, folks. This here tells their old entire history of the bloody thing here. Yeah. Of course the Templars were here. They were everywhere. Yeah. What kind of a bloody thing is this? There must be a representation of the use prime noctis, like they raped our women in here. They raped our European women right there. You know. So it means if this castle is still, you know, hasn't been demolished, that means that, you know, they, they didn't, you know, reject like the Templars. So they, you know, they protected the Templars. Bloody lions, as always. Yeah. So, I mean, so that means the Templars were here. They were all over. Yeah. Bloody lions. There never were any lions in Europe. This is a foreign power, folks. Now, what's that? A bloody pharaoh on his horse. Yeah. And an anchor. Why an anchor? To stop the horse, or what? Throw the anchor and stop horse. The horse wasn't listening, or what? Yeah. Hey, yeah, let's have a cup of tea here, shall we? Yeah, they have a cup of tea here. Oh. Yeah, you know, we just smile to the Europeans, you know. So they don't, you know, they make a picture of us that we are so nice and friendly. And we don't have the money to restore the castle. Oh, yes. Oh, we're the poor aristocracy nowadays. Because they, they shouldn't think, you know, we've got the power. Yeah, so we act. Just like our politicians, you know, we act and smile, you know, and look sexy, eh? What was that? A little chapel. Let's have a look in. Or should we rather put our, have our tea air, right? Not air, and not air. Oh, I'm going to pitch my tent here, right? <laughs> Why don't we have our tea here? You know, not here, not here as well, you know. Uh, 
can have our tea here, shall we, darling? We're so innocent, like the Swiss, you know, we smile to the world. Oh my, I'm gonna put my tent here. So here's the other side here. And it tells a story. Uh, the attackers, they fled to Switzerland. Here it says the bloody robbers, eh? so that means Freemasons. And here it shows here three times on the door. The, um, the fache is the symbol of the uh, joining, you know, one for all and all for one. Three times for these, the Trinity, Isis, Horus and Seth. As we just read, the attackers went to Switzerland, which was the new world order of the Templars. So this is definitely the old world order, the old aristocracy, the Red House. On the contrary of the, the White House, the new world. Ah, so the word Clairon, or the castle Clairon, it comes from Clairon, meaning a trumpet, like the Middle Ages. Thing, you know, I don't know what the word is in English. So that means, you know, that they show this paper of the Swiss thieves. That means they don't like this very much, you know. So they are the royalists here, the uh, the Red House and the Old World Order. Apparently, they have an old countess living here. You know, who's about 80 years old. Sweet lady, they say, like our politicians. You know, they act nice, you know, but they are not. They smile to us, you know. Because they know if we stand up, you know, we'll get rid of them. And uh, so these, these are the royalists, the old world order. Now look, there's another door there. Uh, to the balcony. Alright. Here in Clairon. No canoeing. Good. Look, there's an interesting road going down here. Shall I have a look, see if there's any secret doors here? There's no bloody look, huh? I hope I won't slip here. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to do a dip in the pool. I oh, forget about it. Probably nothing to see. Hey. There's the coat of arms of this sea town I'm here yet. Uh, here, uh, me. It's called Mez. Me. It means it's a word for the pyramid, the Templars, or the Hospitallers. Of course, the Crusaders that came here. You know, of course. And next to the Templars farm, Templarhof, like the airport in Germany, there was the firstborn son. Here was all the power, you know. The second, third and fourth sons, they had to make the people work. And they were doing the parties and raping the women. It's an incredible castle here, the Ort Königsberg, or the Königsburg, I don't know. There's some more, it's old too. Oh dear. <laughs> I've been walking so much, I've got a hole in me on days. What's on the other side? Ew.